Hey there, it's Gabby here with Brady Nerd Inspirations. In today's class is something that is so fundamental for every single face painter out there that's beginning or wants to improve, and that is teardrops, swirls, backward teardrops, and dots. Yes, we are finally doing this video. With so many of our videos, we have teardrops in them. And for people that may not know how to do it, it can be kind of frustrating. So it's going to be a extended version of our teardrops on multiple mediums, such as two different kinds of practice boards and my face. So you'll be able to see it at different angles and multiple times to really get the grasp on it. With the one that's gonna be done on the face, it's gonna be in a set of a design look. So it's a little bit easier to understand where to place teardrops and how to use focal points to angle them perfectly. Otherwise, the rest on the practice boards will be demonstrated naturally as if you're practicing and doesn't really need any specific design attached to it. When you are starting to do teardrops, it takes a lot of practice. I'm not gonna lie and say it's super easy on the first go because it's not. So we're gonna be using two different practice boards. One of them is one that we all know and that is a face practice board, but it can be a little bit harder to practice your teardrops as it can be a little bit more slippery on the brush. So for one to do Better Teardrops is called a Pro Face Practice Pad. This one has more of a consistency like skin with a gloss layover. So I like to use the back actually because it's a little bit less glossy and it holds the paint really nicely without having the brush slide. Of course, it's still not as perfect as using your actual skin. So I recommend doing it on your arm or on your thigh or wherever you like. With this practice board as well, this um, pro face pad, I only use the color white with it as other colors have a higher tendency to stain unless you use Mr. Eraser by um, Mr. Clean, that will take it off. But if you wanna be lazy like me and just use a wipey, white is going to be your best friend. Other colors, you might be kind of sad when it doesn't come off. With all that being said, let's get started. These are some of the best brushes to practice teardrops and swirls. I really like them. First, you want to nicely load up your brush with your paint. Go over it a few times. Make sure it's the perfect consistency. Really twirl it in. And you want to make it very heavy with paint to make your best teardrops. The first brush that we're using is a number two round luxe swirl brush to do backward teardrops. As you can see, you're going to go light and then push the brush all the way down. To me, when you make too many, it looks really odd, but when you're doing it on an actual design, it's really going to make sense. So do a nice, thin, straight line and then push it down. As you can see with the second row, it all has one focal point and that was the center teardrop. Now we're going to do the exact same thing with a number four round brush. As you can see, each size creates slightly different teardrops and no same brush makes the same teardrop. So each brand, each size is all going to look a little bit different and just because it might be a round brush it does not mean it's going to make good teardrops. Now we're using a teardrop brush, literally how it's called. It makes really beautiful teardrops. And no matter the brush, it is the exact same technique. Now with a number two brush, we're gonna do swirls. You want to go light, push down, and then bring back your brush once again. And you can do an inner one as well. That one's optional, but it's, I think it looks good. And we're gonna do this two more times. You're gonna go light, push down and then light up again. It does require a sufficient amount of practice and you might have to watch this just a few times to understand exactly how to hold your brush. Make sure to do it with your breath so you breathe in and you push down and when you breathe out, you bring your brush back up. Now we're going to do normal teardrops only with a number two round brush first. Load it up, 
very, very heavily. You want to have a lot of paint. If you don't have enough, you're going to mess up throughout your design. And you're going to push down all the way with your brush and then slightly lift your hand up. And keep doing this until you think you have good teardrops. Of course, they will not all look perfect. That's why it requires practice. As you can see here, they don't all look the best, but we're here to teach you and even remind you that like no one's perfect and that's totally okay. Then do the same thing with your number four round brush. Push down and then bring it up slightly. Push down all the way and then bring it up each time when you move closer and closer to your focal point. And then the same thing with your teardrop brush. As you can see, they all look a little bit different, but also very similar. Now we're gonna do some hook teardrops. I'm not really sure what these are called, but these look very beautiful on your princess crowns. So you do one teardrop and then bring it down in a nice curve and then adding two more regular teardrops, all hitting the same focal point, which is gonna be the corner. Do it again, you have a normal teardrop and then bring it down nicely in a nice swoop. Also make sure that that first teardrop that you did has a little bit of space before adding the little swoop below and just do this one more time make sure that you practice 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 these teardrops because it is going to really make your designs look fantastic and for you to be a complete professional now it's time for dots the secret to make perfect dots is to overload your brush with paint to make them a perfect consistency here we're using a mark reed number four as it does make fantastic dots not all brushes make great dots just as not all brushes make perfect teardrops now we're going to show you how to do all these techniques on a design we are gonna go from this to this Let's get started. Here are the supplies we're going to be using today along with the pro face pad that was used previously. First, with your ankle brush, do a petal for your center of the forehead. Make sure it is nice and strong in color so you can go over it a few times. <laughs> and then you're going to do two of these types of petals on each side. It looks kind of like a lotus to me. And then add some beautiful orange glitter. Then add two petals, actually just one petal on each side of the eye, which is going to be a good petal, so sorry about my math, as you can see here. And that's going to be your base. Now the rest is going to be your line work, your swirls, and your teardrops as it was shown earlier in this video. Line work is pretty easy, as you can see here. Now we're going to start doing the teardrops. Oh my gosh, that nose. You know what this nose reminds me of? Squidward. No, you try. Okay. I'm Squidward, 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 Squidward. I'm Squidward, I'm Squidward. So now you have your backward teardrops in the center, two normal teardrops on each side of your lotus, and then two normal teardrops on each side of the eye as well. It can either be backward or normal. That one is up to you. You got the hard stuff done. Now it's going to be doing two swirls on each side of the eyebrow, going from your focal point, which is the center of your forehead, all the way to the corner of the eyebrow. Add two swirls and then one backward or normal teardrop inside of those two swirls closest to the eyebrow. Then add two backward teardrops on top of the swirls that you have just made. Then add two more swirls on the corner of the eye. So you have one on top, one on the bottom, and then you can also add an inner swirl as well. Then add some backward teardrops hugging your swirl. You never want your teardrops to be random. They have to follow and flow somehow, some way, having not only a focal point, but to be hugging another object. Then, with a nether brush loaded in white, of course, adding these perfect tiny dots. This one is a Prima Barton brush, which makes fantastic dots. Really, really nice and beautiful. But make sure that it's also important to really load up your brush. Lastly, we are using some vivid glitter to bring the whole design together. Here is the finished look. You guys killed it.
If you like this demo of the teardrop design on the face, there will also be a step-by-step -step on our Instagram at Radiant Art Inspirations because it's a lot easier to have step-by-steps on your phone, right? Right. We, we got you. So hop on over, follow, and you can get all the step-by-steps, not just from this design, but multiple, most of our previous designs on this channel as well. Now we're gonna show you the exact same design on the practice board. If you like these kinds of info videos, please let me know in the comments. Also, like it if you like this video, and I will see you guys next week. Bye-bye!